Hi everyone. If you're struggling picking a hotel in the Disneyland Resort area, we've created a great list of hotels that will be a great jumping off point to planning your Disneyland vacation. Who are we? We're Jim and Crystal and we're Anaheim Park tourists. We have stayed in about half of the 125 or so hotels in the Disneyland Resort area and we do this because we love helping people with their vacations. This list isn't necessarily our go-to list. The criteria we used was proximity to the park, room configurations, and overall price. We've picked a range of different hotels from luxury to budget-minded hotels. Let's go ahead and we'll start with this list. First up is the Desert Palms. We really enjoy this hotel because one, they offer a free hot breakfast included with your room, but two, they offer so many different suite configurations. So if you have a larger family or you're traveling with another couple and you both want private areas, there's a lot of different suite choices at this hotel. We also love how quick and easy it is to walk to the parks from this hotel and the proximity to 7-Eleven, CVS, and Walgreens. Also included on site is a restaurant and we found out this last trip, the restaurant will do room service with no extra charge. They'll bring the food up to your room, which we thought was an awesome bonus. The next hotel on the list is the Alpine Inn. This is a budget-minded hotel, but we absolutely love this little hotel. First off, if you're a return visitor, they give you 20% off if you book directly by calling them. The hotel staff are always very friendly. Last time we stayed there was over this last Thanksgiving break. I rented an ECV due to a knee surgery and they charged the ECV up every night for me and parked it outside in the morning so I can pick it up. We've stayed in their one bedroom suite and what we liked about the one bedroom suite, the king bed was located in the back of the room and it was super quiet. This last trip, we booked a two queen room and once again, it was quiet on property, but the room was a little cramped for four adult sized people. One last thing, this hotel does offer free parking with a small resort fee. The parking lot can be very tight because it is a smaller property. So if you are very particular about your car, take note of that. The next hotel after Alpine Inn is the King's Inn. This is once again a budget-minded hotel. What I liked about this hotel, the room rates are very low, some of the lowest in the Anaheim area. The hotel is super clean. The management is on top of everything. So if you have a problem, they've got great customer service. They have good reviews for a budget-minded hotel. The beds are comfortable and the parking lot is very large. Once again, if you are particular about your car, the parking lot's huge, and I think you'll be safe parking there. And this hotel does offer free parking. In addition to free parking, this hotel is located next door to the Garden Walk, where there are a number of different restaurants. So if you do not feel like eating at the park, you have a wide selection of places you can go that are close proximity to the hotel. Up next is the Anaheim Majestic Hotel. Now this hotel is a little bit further out, and they do offer a free dedicated shuttle to and from the parks. But the reason we're mentioning this hotel on this list is because they do send out quite a few email specials for booking different discounted rates at their hotel. And we always love a good deal. So that's why we wanted to mention this hotel. When we stayed there, we did really like our room. It was huge, really spacious, very clean, and we would stay there again. This next hotel is one of the closest hotels to Disneyland and it's Parkview Inn. This one happens to be one of our favorites because of its proximity to Disneyland and they have a number of different types of configurations of rooms. They offer free parking. The room rates are fair, especially when you consider how close they are to Disneyland and it only takes about seven to eight minutes to walk to the gates to Disneyland. The next hotel is the Candy Cane Inn. We absolutely love this hotel and I will throw it out there, sometimes they can have very high rate, so you'll have to decide if having that free breakfast is worth it or not. But we love that the rooms are just re recently renovated. They are about a year old at this point of filming this video. They did a great job with the remodel. The rooms are excellent. We really loved our rooms. The room we loved the most was the premium room, and I'll tell you why. To us, it was worth the money because they will deliver you the breakfast items that you request. And for us, with teenage boys who don't wanna get out of bed, <laughs> it was an excellent time saver because all four of us didn't have to get ready and walk down to breakfast. We had breakfast delivered, Jim and I got ready, our boys 
ate the breakfast while we were getting ready, and then while our boys were getting ready, we ate breakfast, so by the time we were all done, we could just head on out the door and hit Disneyland. So for our family, that room was totally worth the extra cost. Plus the room is a little bit bigger, you get turn down service, things like that. This hotel also has free parking and a free dedicated shuttle to and from the parks. They call it the trolley. And we had an excellent experience with the trolley. The drivers are so friendly and nice. And if you miss the trolley, the walk to and from this hotel is very quick and easy as well. Another bonus with the premium room was we are in the very back of the hotel, right up next to the back of Radiator Springs and it was such a quiet room. They did a great job with the noise cancellation in that room. We even saw a maid walk by and we didn't hear one peep. We didn't hear the cart, we didn't hear footsteps. It was a very quiet stay. The next hotel is the Grand Legacy and this was actually one of our go-to hotels when our children were still in strollers. Uh, when we were Staying in the Disneyland area, we always picked a hotel that was very close proximity so we didn't have to load a stroller up into a shuttle or deal with them on a long walk. So this was one of our favorite go-to hotels and we have stayed in every room type. So we've stayed in the, the luxury room, the deluxe rooms, which is the very back tower and that tower was built in approximately 2010, 2013 and then the older classic rooms, which are original to the hotel. And of course, our favorite room is the luxury room. We stayed on a lower floor, I believe it was the second floor, and we faced the actual hotel and not harbor. And that was one of our quietest stays in the area. It was dead silent there. This hotel also offers a number of different discounts, early bird specials, triple A, magic key discount. If you book far enough in advance, you can actually get this hotel at a decent price and its proximity to the park is fairly close. Uh, finally, they do have the fifth, which is located in the newest tower and it is a rooftop bar slash restaurant. It offers great views of California Adventure. The food is decent, uh, the drinks are good. And if you're up there and you time it just right, you can catch the fireworks at Disneyland. Also, the Grand Legacy is constantly sending out emails for discounted rates. A lot of times they can be either in advance or last minute rates if you were planning a trip. So if you sign up for their email blast and you've booked somewhere else, you might be able to price compare and see if you can get a better deal at the Grand Legacy. The next hotel is the Cambria. And we realized that this hotel is further out and a lot of people might not want to make that trek. What we would suggest is either one, to ride the ART shuttle bus, and there's a stop right outside of the hotel for that, or you can do what we did, which was to walk to the Toy Story lot off Catella and just ride the free Toy Story buses to and from Disneyland, and that saved us quite a bit of time. We did walk one time to the park, and that was to film our walking video, <laughs> but we figured out pretty quickly that was a pretty long walk, um, so we suggest doing one of the two shuttles. Now, what we loved about the Cambria is it's a newer hotel, so the rooms are quite a bit more spacious. The room we had was a suite, so it had two queen beds in one room and then a sleeper sofa in the living room area of the other part of the room. And what we really loved about that were the beds were in a completely separate area from the door to the hallway of the hotel. So we didn't hear any of the noise in the hallway, which we love. We also love that there's a full-size fridge and a microwave plus a coffee pot, but the best thing about this hotel is they provide a full hot breakfast in the morning. And to be fair, we stayed there last year in 2022 over Thanksgiving, and it was a little bit chaotic at breakfast at times. The waffle machine was crazy, so we didn't even wait for that. But the rest of the lines moved really quickly, efficiently. They had a lot of employees in there making sure the lines kept moving. We were totally full from the breakfast and we really liked that aspect. And also we love the proximity of the Cambria to a lot of different food options. If you come back for lunch or you take a break in the room and you wanna buy something that isn't Disneyland food, there's a whole shopping center in the same parking lot. So there's a Starbucks, there's a Habit Burger, I believe there's a Hawaiian barbecue and there's a Jersey Mike's plus a couple of other things in there. So lots of different choices for food. Now the one thing we did want to point out at this hotel is if you are parking a car, it can get a little pricey per night because there will be a parking charge and a resort fee. So those two things every night add up quickly. But also as a side note, if you do like to go back and take a lot of breaks, 
they have an amazing pool area with water slides that looks pretty darn awesome and I would have loved to have stayed there as a kid. Or if you have a rest day, that would be a great option as well. For this next hotel, we debated between two and that was Home Two Suites and the Element. And we picked the Element overall because of price. Home Two Suites is consistently way more expensive than the Element. Home Two Suites, you have to valet your car and we know some people don't like that. Whereas at the Element, you can uh, self park yourself. What we like about the Element is they have a number of different room configurations. And so they probably have a room type that fits your party. The included hot breakfast is fantastic and rotates on a daily basis. Every time we have stayed there, there's been something new every day and the breakfast room is massive. So you don't get those big lines like you get at the Cambria in our experience. And we've also stayed at the Element during a Thanksgiving break and it flowed quite well. The one big negative is the walk to and from Disneyland. It's about 16 to 20 minutes, depending on your walking speed. And we've been asked many times, have you had any issues with that long walk late at night? And no, we've never had any issues uh, the many times we've walked to and from this hotel and the Sun Coast, which is located next door. We don't ask this very often, but if you could give us a like and a subscribe, if you find this content valuable, we would really appreciate it. It would help our content spread to other people who are looking for the same thing. Up next is the Westin, and we chose this hotel for people that are looking for a similar experience to staying on Disneyland property, either at the Disneyland Hotel or the Grand Californian Hotel, but those might be out of budget. The Westin is an excellent choice if you're looking for something similar. In our opinion, it's nicer than those hotels. I know we'll probably get a lot of flack for that, um, but the Westin is very new, it's less than two years old. We were so impressed with the layout of the room, the cleanliness of the room, and the customer service at this hotel. Customer service was top notch. It is a full service hotel. They have a coffee shop, an abundance of restaurants, a lobby bar, valet, and they have a rooftop bar, which we have not experienced yet, but we have heard really great things about it. Everything you can think of in a full service hotel they have and we just absolutely loved our stay there. Can it be a little bit pricier? Yes, compared to some of the motels that can be on the pricier end, but compared to the Grand Californian or a room at the Disneyland Hotel, we would say it's a relative bargain compared to those prices. You know, we paid $950 a night for one night at the Grand Californian, and I believe we paid under $400 for one night at the Westin. Yes, you have to walk a little bit further. If you don't wanna walk from the Westin, you can take an art shuttle. There is an art stop right outside of the hotel, or you could take an Uber and Lyft, and that would be under $10 per ride. But in general, we think it's a really good option if you can't afford those Disneyland Resort hotel prices. This next selection is a bonus hotel. And the reason why we're saying it's a bonus hotel, we haven't stayed there yet, is the California Inn. And the California Inn is located at Harbor and Ball, so they're a little further away, but there is an art stop almost next door to them. When we started looking at their Instagram photos, then we went to their website, their rooms look amazing. And it is a motel. The rooms look higher in, more higher in than you would expect at a motel. And the prices are starting off at $139 a night and they're highly rated on Google reviews as of recording this video, and they're currently rated 4.9 stars out of five. We are planning on staying at the California Inn on our next trip. This list was in no particular order, and this list wasn't necessarily our go-to list of hotels. We'll make a separate video for that. We created this list for those who do not want to stay on property and to help jumpstart your vacation planning. We have room tours of each of the hotels except for the California Inn linked below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see See you in the next video.